I'm glad you found us today. It is Friday and we are heading out. I'm t heading out taking Ronnie to school this morning. It's actually less cold this morning than it has been. There's not even ice on the windows of the car, which I am very grateful for at this moment since right now it's time for us to go and I don't really have time to scrape the windows. I am going to be going a little late to get my blood taken for my physical next week. You have to go in, in advance and do your blood work. And then I'm going to head to the store and see if I can't find us a sled. We found a couple in our garage, apparently, that we have. So we do have some, but I want to get one more for the kids. And then we're planning on going sledding this afternoon. So I really hope it all works out and everything goes how I plan. Because, you know, from experience, things don't always go the way I plan. What you got there? A box oh. Candy cane you, flavor. Your turn to take out the advent calendar. I put candy cane rock, pop rocks in it this year. The kids are loving it. It's a great treat. <laughs> Don't, don't you dare. You're the one who's in the wrong place, not me. <laughs> Drop-offs. Even at high school, it's annoying. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks. See ya. This morning, I woke up, and my throat is sore. Since I'm already on my way to the doctor, I'm going to see if the walk-in doctor will swab it for me and just make sure. Because if it is strep, I do want to nip it before it gets out of hand, especially with tomorrow being such a crazy day. My daughter got accepted into the college that she applied to. She only applied to one because it's the only one she wants to go to. It's really close to here. She'll be able to live at home. So we're super excited for her. She's way excited. So I got my results, no strep, it's just a cold. So I'm gonna head now out to Walmart and see if I can find a sled and some gloves. Oh my gosh, Jasper would die. That's probably way out of my price range. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I just lifted this bugger out of the cart by myself. I wish somebody would have videotaped it because it was awesome. And I scanned it, and guess what? 80 bucks. I'm totally buying this for my kid's birthday. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought the van. Uh, it ain't gonna fit in the trunk. <laughs> Dying. Oh, well, <laughs> that was a trip and a half. Came for a sled. $10 sled ended up with some kind of Power Wheels car. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Christmas time. This is actually gonna be for Jasper's birthday, which is next Wednesday, and I just cannot wait because he's like obsessed with Lightning, Lightning McQueen, and all he wants is a little like, little toy Lightning McQueen, and here he's gonna get one he can sit in. Oh my gosh, he's gonna absolutely go bonkers crazy. I was looking through my bag, um, getting my card out and stuff, and I realized we actually ended up borrowing money from my son so that we could go out that night. We didn't actually end up spending the money. Guess what, you guys? It's still in my wallet. My girls and I were planning to go today before we go sledding and to pick like a name off an angel tree. But all of this mess has taken me so much time. I don't really have time to take them out to do something. Well, I was just on Facebook in a group of moms where we had, it's actually a group that I created for when, for the baby that I miscarried right before Jasper. And I'm still super good friends with all of those ladies and their little three and a half year olds. And one of them posted they are unable to buy Christmas this year. She was basically just asking for prayers. And I 
it was like light bulb moment moment for me. So I messaged her and I'm like, are there some small gifts that my girls and I could buy and buy online and send to you guys? Because we were planning today to go to an angel tree and I saw your post and I thought, what? Why not help someone that we know and love? When I get home, I'm gonna surprise the girls. We're gonna go online to Amazon and we are gonna shop. We're gonna buy them each one present and have it shipped to their house. And this $40 is just gonna sit in my wallet to remind me of people's generosity and awesomeness. We're gonna start with giving and I know the Lord will provide. So that's the way it's gonna be. All right, you guys getting all ready to go sledding? Yeah. Taking off your makeup from last night because I haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. And look, they're brushing their hair, guys. They know how. Look how cute that is. You don't want to take it out? Because you can leave it in because you're going to ballet later anyway and it still really looks good. Alright, I have something I want to tell you guys. So remember the $40 the lady gave us at Walmart? And I was going to spend it on my birthday and then I didn't because we ended up borrowing money from Sullivan. Yeah, so it's still in my wallet, which is funny. So I've been looking for something for us to do to pay it forward, and I thought I would take take you guys. I know we talked about going and doing like an angel tree. I was going to do that when I got home, but a friend of mine from an online baby board posted this morning that she's really stressed out because they just don't have any money for Christmas. I thought we could do the pay it forward for my friend that's online. So I'm just so excited, and I'm thinking, we should pay it forward like big time. I'm saying I think we should triple it. That might mean less things in our stockings or less things under the tree because, you know, sometimes I buy a few extra things to help Santa and sneak them in before you guys wake up. So it might mean a few extra things may not be able to happen. Would you guys be okay with that even though it, me it might mean a smaller Christmas for you? Yeah. That's a tough question, I know. Yeah. Think it'll be okay? Yeah. Well, guess what? These little girls, guess what they want? What? LOL surprise. Are you excited to buy it for them now? Can you imagine buying somebody else a present like that that you love so much? Yeah. It's going to be so great. I'm so excited. You want to help? Do you want to help us pick the presents for the boys? They like Xbox stuff. I want yeah. race car. I know you want a race car for your birthday, huh? Your birthday's coming up. Your birthday's in five Maybe. days, Mom. And your birthday coming up. You're gonna have and a birthday party. Lightning McQueen. You're gonna have your party. And Lightning McQueen, huh? Yeah. And Jackson Storm. And who? Jackson Storm. Who's Jackson Storm? He's the evil guy. Oh, in the show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go pay it forward and buy some Christmas presents for some people who need help, okay? Yeah, let's go. We're gonna make sure we go to Amazon Smile so that it donates money to our charity. Okay, this one, what is this, Glam Surprise? That one has seven in it. How many does this one have in it? Um, the Pearl Surprise, how many does it have in it? Dolls? Yeah. It's just, Probably like two, I forgot, yeah. So this one has like 60 plus. Yeah. That's the one that Ruby wants. The purple yeah. has two dollars. Uh, Only two? Like that just makes no sense. If it's thirty dollars, there's a back on in it. A base. That is it. These have seven in them though. Okay. So this really only comes with one doll. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like what if they get this? Face. What about this one? What's this one? To keep and you can find out if they color change, spit, or pee their pants. Pee their pants. Okay, I have a question. What on earth is the deal with all of the dolls peeing and pooping in crud? They don't poop. Okay, I have seen several several ads on my videos for Keto Chaos for a doll that pees in a potty and then literally farts. It farts! The unicorn? No, it's called a peep. Let's look it up. Okay, so this is this doll that I'm talking about. It... It supposedly pees and then she dances around. Why? Tell me why they are making dolls that fart. I think it's normal. Wait, what? I what do you mean? I think it's normal. It's normal to fart or normal to have a doll that farts? Normal to fart. I want <laughs> Normal to fart. So they're trying to make kids feel like it's no big deal if you fart? It's, they're trying to make kids um, better at parenting or something like that. Well, and... I mean, that's been, I mean, kids yeah. like to pretend that they're parents. Stop. 
Like, they like to do that. I just, I just don't get the farting thing. Like, is it just because it's funny, or do you think that it, it's trying to normalize passing gas? <laughs> funny? Yeah, see, this is the reason why we don't let you shop, Ruby, because you are literally so easy. Okay, so I couldn't find it on Amazon for, good, for a reasonable amount, but Best Buy does have $25 gift cards for the Xbox with free shipping. So we are going to go ahead and buy them from Best Buy, and then we'll buy the LOL girls from Amazon and call it good. This isn't what I had in mind. I know. <laughs> and this is the beauty of being a homeschooler. It's the middle of the day and there's nobody here. <laughs> it's like climbing the mountain, huh? Yeah, we will. Yeah, the snow is kind of melty because of the sun. It's not super slickery. You'll save the day? With your wings? I love you right now. I love you right now. <laughs> what are you doing, Jasper? You going like down like a skier? Oh man, go Jasper! Look at you, big boy! Woo! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Help, buddy. Yeah, yeah, my turn. Oh my gosh, Jasper, you're so cute. You need help? No more running up the hill, huh? Getting tired? Yeah. She's swimming the snow. I can't swim. <laughs> you can't swim, are you stuck? That coat, huh? If I got the other coat, she wouldn't be able to do this. Oh no! <laughs> what the heck are you doing there, girl? Trying to keep him up so he's not that scared. He's fine. You gotta sit up though. <laughs> he wants to get out. He's like, this isn't fun. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh no, you're gonna crash them.
Jasper has the hardest time waiting for his turn. He keeps throwing big, huge fits. He thinks he needs to go every time. Oh, careful, careful, get your balance. Ah. Go, Virginia! Well, if you don't like it, you're gonna have to come in. So where the heck is your coat? I knew that. Why? Go get it. You Why? should have it on. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's it's braiding. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm ready. Hmm. Okay. You okay? Okay, you're gonna, this is the last ride. We're gonna go home. Ruby gets the last ride. fast. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. I am in a cage. <laughs> I am a bus. You're a bus? Yes. Don't run me over, Mr. Bus. Now you're an airplane? <laughs> well, now I'm racing to go pick up Ronnie. Her bus, is, her school bus is late again. Every single time that kid works, every single time that bus is late, I tell you. It's like that bus driver hates me. Because when the bus driver is late, I have to drive all the way down to pick her up at the school and drive her to the bus station and pray that I make it in time. Which is not easy. Found her made her walk down the street so I wouldn't have to uh, drive her as far. Oh man, we pulled up and the train is pulling into the station. She's booking it down there. I hope she makes it. Here comes the train. I don't see her. Come on, Ronnie. Book it, book it, book it. Where are you? Oh, there she is running. There she is. <laughs> oh, that was cutting it close, people. That was cutting it. Gosh dang close. She made it, barely. Of course the train was four minutes early, right? Four minutes early <laughs> on the day that we're just like booking it here. Oh gosh, I am so grateful she made that train. She hadn't made that train. She's either a half an hour late for work or we are a half an hour late for ballet. are having corn dogs and cheese hits and other random carby things and some oranges. Oliver's having tamales and nutter butters. Yep. 